Ryan D is ZZP here today, guys. We get to talk about LNFs and stuff. Let's go. Today we're talking about pores black and what to do about it. All right, guys. So another pretty simple one today is we're going to talk about LNFs. So the LNF was in a lot of vehicles from 2007 in the early Kappa chassis vehicles all the way to about 2010 in the Delta chassis vehicles. The LNF is a two liter direct injection turbo engine that can be found in these vehicles in the performance versions, the SS Cobalt, HHRSS, Saturn Sky Redline, Pontiac Solstice, GXP, those kind of vehicles. So um, the Gen 2 block is what it's called and they were actually had a small casting defect. And what this was, this was called uh, foam casting. I won't really go into that today, but basically, long story short, what porous black is, is small, tiny little holes will start appearing in your cylinder walls. Uh, a telltale sign of this is you look, and when you do an oil change, you'll have like a little bit of chocolate milk because the coolant will be mixing with the oil. Um, also, you'll notice that you're losing a lot of coolant pretty quickly because as the coolant goes through the coolant jackets, it's just kind of pouring directly into the cylinder, mixing with the oil, and that's just not good. At this point, the block is pretty much, it's pretty bad. You can't reuse it. You can't really fix this unless you just take the sleeves out and then sleeve it, which we really don't suggest, for especially for street cars. It's kind of a strange thing because some people just never get it. Uh, usually, the problem usually doesn't show up in later 2009 and 2010 vehicles. It still can, but it rarely ever does. It shows up more in the earlier years from 2007 to early 2009 uh, for these vehicles. Um, so it's something that um, you want to get a new block and get a new block for. And we actually have quite a few options for this. Uh, the LDK slash A20 NFT is a sand casted block. Basically, this took out the imperfections of the foam casting that the LNF had and it drops right in. So on our website, we have our LDK long block or our Gen 3 LNF short block. Both of these will fix your problem, no problem, and you'll never have the porous black issue again. Because of the superior casting of the block, uh, they're also stronger just in general. The black itself can handle right around 500. Stock bottom ends on the LDKs and the um, LHUs can only handle right around 400, so the rods are a little bit weaker, but the blocks themselves are stronger. That's why we use our Gen 3 blocks for our girdle blocks and things like that. Right around 400 is where the rods and pistons are gonna kind of start failing, but the block itself is good for 500. And if you girdle it, good for 900, easily. So uh, to fix a porous block issue, if you notice that, you know, a lot of people think it's a blown head gasket, but you know, you notice you're, you change your head gasket and you notice that the cylinder, you're still getting milky oil, Replaced with an LDK long block, you get a zero mile non refurbished engine, actually zero mile GM engine. Um, this is a great way for to freshen up your car, make it fun to drive again, make it more reliable, and to be able to have yourself start a fresh build when you're trying to mod these cars. So, super simple. Porous, that's what Porsche block is. You know, it's something that you guys, you know, unfortunately, there's no fix for it besides doing a lot of work or doing an engine swap for it. So, if you guys have any questions, Customer service at ZZPerformance.com. You know we'll help you out. And always, as usual, Ryan D at ZZP. See you guys next time.